Okay, so yes, let's go in and get this unpacked. Okay, here it is. Here is the Costco haul, and I'm just about to lay it out so I can film it. So this is what it looks like when we get home. Jessica's just walked in the door from ballet, so she's just going to help me lay it out. And then I'll film it for you. And the good news is, I found my phone. It was in the charger at home. Okay, and here is the haul. So I'll go through it with you. I was going to say, I haven't been shopping for two weeks other than a small $50 haul last week. So I pretty much, I think I've almost halved my grocery shopping. And that will be a lot through the meal prepping and things that we're doing. So yes, it's a bit more work to meal prep. Yes, it's a bit more work to shop like this, but it's saving so much money, which is really great. And yeah, so let me just show you what I've got. Let's start, I hope this cheese tastes good but I got four blocks of this cheese because at $3.99 or whatever it was I just couldn't not and so what I did is I put the shredded cheese back thinking I'm going to shred this into containers and I just can't believe the price of this so I got four of them and I'm just Jessica said I'll just talk to Jessica she reckons that they froze cheese when she lived in America I've never frozen cheese before but she said you can so I'll probably put two away and grate two so I'd love to know. I, I might keep it out for a day because you guys always let me know because you guys always let me know things like that. So yeah, but look at this cheese. And my boys, they just love cheese. Love, love, love cheese. This whole haul is really about meal prepping. So you'll get the idea as we go along. We didn't have any well, we've got a couple of muesli bars left, so I got the gluten-free muesli bars. These are good value. Eggs. I got 60 eggs, so my husband makes eggs every morning for the boys. I'm going to be doing meal prep again because the breakfast meal prep just went so well. So I've got 60 eggs to play with there. Also need to do some baking. I want to do some muffins for breakfast prep as, as well. So we need a lot of eggs. Uh, yes, we did that. On the theme of breakfast, I got the fruit and juice, peach and fruit salad. So that's good. I saw this big tin of pineapple and... What I'm going to do with this is put it into glass containers. It will probably fit into two big glass containers. And the boys want me to make fried rice again. So I'll be making fried rice and using it using it on the pizzas. And Lucas loves nothing more and Tom to have pineapple with their cereal. And I always say, if you're going to have pineapple with your cereal, you need to sprinkle LSA powder on so you get some protein in that meal as well. So I think this is going to be such value for our breakfasts. Oh. And other things okay so I've got some gluten-free bread I think did I get two lots of that no just one lot of that gluten-free bread I bought these green onion crackers they were on special I think it works out around $11 per box nine individual packs in there each that have 12 in them so these are the best values value these are the best value Tom and my older son just love them Tom will sit there and eat a whole pack and puts a bit of Vegemite on or a bit of cheese on or sometimes he just eats them plain because the green onion flavor is really good. So I do highly recommend these and I always grab them when they're on special. I've never grabbed two boxes before but I'm not going to regret it. So I got the Fanta Lift and Sprite so the, so the children can have it on hand in the fridge in the garage for when friends come around. So it just works out so affordable at Costco. I don't normally get it but I started to get it last time and it's working out. Great. Bottled water. Yes. Yes. This is my favorite one. I like it even more than Aldi. So I'm always glad to get that. Muffins. I'm going to do some breakfast prep as I just said. So part of that will be muffins with egg, sort of McDonald muffins, egg and bacon. And I've got the gluten-free bun so I can make the gluten-free version as well. Uh, here is the cheese, the Mexican style blend cheese. So I'll be able to check out my American friends YouTube channels and see them cooking with this and be some recipes because they use this all the time So I'm keen to try it Unsalted butter. I got three lots of unsalted butter. We're always running out of butter at the moment and I love fresh butter Big 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 mess of mushrooms I can see myself using these in stir fries or even making mini pizzas out of them for Jessica and myself the bag of avocados which was super special work out just over a dollar each which is great at the moment and they are from New Zealand four dollars off these were baby spinach which I almost forgot three dollars ninety nine I don't know it off by heart pears these were really cheap around just over four dollars for all these pears and pears have been so sweet and so delicious blueberries frozen blueberries we haven't had these for a while these aren't actually organic the ones that they used to have were organic 
so but that should be fine so grab those for the smoothies berries have just really gone up in price to something super crazy so i was i was pretty happy to get these from costco asparagus i'm so excited to get creative with this i love it love 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 asparagus do i just call it avocado no maybe not uh what am i up to tomato sauce ketchup two lots of that I tried to convince myself that the Aldi tomato sauce would do, but it's just not the same. So I grabbed this avocado oil. I'm halfway through the I'm halfway through one at the moment, and I don't have a backup. So happy to get that tortillas. Yes, big bag of tortillas. I actually, when I was a bit stressed last week, I actually had nachos twice. When I'm stressed, I have these foods that I love to eat, but my thing is cheese and these <laughs> these and cheese so I did that last week and I did regret it because I get a bit of eczema from doing things like that and yeah but anyway that's what happened okay thin hokey noodles yes delicious I got the fat ones last time and to be honest I haven't used them yet but I really wanted the thin ones so I'll use the fat ones first to use them up and then I'll go on to these cheese crank skis for the breakfast prep the boys just love these so I got two lots this time and we'll be yeah, prepping with them so that we get them used up. Just some ham. This shortcut bacon was on special, so I grabbed three lots of that and I'm going to use it for the breakfast prep. I'll use it in all different ways. Last time I got the diced bacon, but um, and it was really versatile and everything, but this was way more affordable, so I grabbed this and I'll just do the I'll just do the chopping. I got one lot of tomatoes. Now that I'm doing bigger, sort of heartier um, meal prep type meals, and I'll keep doing that probably until I go away, we don't need as many tomatoes in that. But having said that, these will probably be gone tomorrow. So probably, oh, actually, I know I've got two lots. That's okay. So tomatoes. These, I just couldn't go past these. I've got, I was just talking to Jess about my plans for these. I wanted to put quinoa in them, make a vegetarian dish, black beans and quinoa. She's just finding that sort of food bloating at the moment, so we're just going to have to try and think of something for these for her. But I still think I'll go the quinoa route. And we'll also use them for stir fries. Pak choy, of course. My favourite. Um, baby cos lettuce hearts. Central sweet potatoes. These were very cheap as well. These were on special. A big bag of sweet potatoes. Uh, Jess just about has one every day if she can, so... That's those. Uh, do, 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 chicken breast and chicken thighs. I'm not even sure with meal prepping whether I'll actually bother bagging these individually. I think I'll just go with, I think I'll just cook with this and do various dishes with chicken all in one go. Mince. So, yeah, mince. Actually, this didn't have one per person anymore, so they must, there must be a bit of supply of this now. So I just grabbed one because that's all we need. Gluten-free for the breakfast prep, gluten-free rolls, two lots of the Abbott's bake, two lots of the Abbott's light rye bread, which we love, more tomatoes and our baby cucumbers. The gluten-free bases, which I explained in the shop with me, they are the cheapest and tastiest gluten-free bases that we've sort of had, even though they fall apart. So I got them anyway. Of course, my potatoes. My just was talking to Jess about the potatoes. The boys coming home and having scallop potatoes or the shepherd's pie after school, rather than snacking on snacks, it's just so much better. So I'm thinking of making quite a few different scallop potato dishes that I can have on hand for after school. They'll have vegetables in them, they'll have some form of protein in them, but with the potato as well so that they can come home and have a decent meal and it'll just keep them away from snacks which don't fill them and don't really achieve anything so that's the plan with those and the yogurts so the boys really enjoyed these last time so i thought why not salsa we've got a little bit left but i've been using it in my cooking as well it's nothing like fresh salsa love it did that did that okay over the back over the back is the vegetable blend, a Kirkland stir fry. We had this last week because there's no broccoli. Let's not talk about the fact there's no frozen broccoli again. But anyway, there's not. So 
I think I've got one bag left so this will do in the meantime and we love the wooded chestnuts so that's fine and this was on special as well 15 chicken schnitzels so I'm really thinking I might use this for meal prep as well I don't really like I would prefer to make it myself and actually I have got some crumbs actually that's what I want to do I want to get some drumsticks or some chicken pieces and make some gluten-free crumbed food this week that will be one of the meals that I want to make so but this is good to have on hand as well and that's everything that's everything and that's sort of my plans I am thinking of sitting down and doing a meal plan when we moved house and I had it up on the wall it worked so well for us I'm not sure it's just that when I get in the kitchen and start meal prepping I just go it's like a creative process for me so I just I like to use up everything I've got and I like to sort of get creative and I like to dig down the back of the cupboards and find things that aren't being used up and so meal planning just a little bit too organized for me but I'm going to give it a go I'm going to try and commit to it because it might even save even more money okay so that's all so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up Please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. See ya. Bye.